What's up guys? So I'm back for some more of XCOM Enemy Within. The last mission was pretty difficult. It was a UFO mission, but it was also a story mission. We had to fight our first Ethereal and we recovered this alien device. So now we actually We're need to, down to the wire here. go now build a Psy Lab. It's I part of the uh, story. Of. You have to build this Personally, building, so I'm going to go, go ahead and destroy something. Um, I'm not quite sure what fight. I should destroy. Let's see. Because um, I need a spot to build it in. I guess I don't need any of these labs because I can't really research anything right now. So let's, uh, let's just go ahead and remove the lab. Okay, and then I have to build the psionic lab, so let's see, um, I need 200 cash, so let's go uh, sell something. Okay, so let's see if we have anything that's like damaged that we could sell, yeah. I can sell these. Okay, that's uh, oh, that's pretty close. Let's uh, sell those, and then we will sell. Let's just uh, sell some of these exalt weapons. I don't need all those. Yeah, um, I didn't know that the exalt guys dropped weapons. Um, the that contact that, that would actually back. make it a lot Probably easier to do a a, a uh, playthrough, I think, on like Impossible Iron Man because instead of researching weapons like I did early on, um, you could just find them, I guess, on the Exalt Troopers unless unless they don't start dropping them until you get laser weapons. Then point would be mute then or moot, however you say that. Um, Okay, I still need seven more. I did my math incorrectly. Alright, uh... There we go. Alright, let's go build that now. Okay, um, engineering, facilities... And, uh, that ghost armor I bought before the previous mission... I didn't really care for it. I didn't use it. It doesn't work on my sniper, because my sniper has the genetic modification for going into stealth. I didn't know those two things conflicted with each other. The ghost grenades don't even work on my uh, my sniper. So it, if I would have known that, I probably wouldn't have given her the, the uh, stealth genetic upgrade. But I don't really use the, uh, the ghost armor. I, I used it in that last mission, and I never used the actual function of it turning my guys invisible. I just ended up using ghost grenades. So I think I'm just going to focus on getting ghost grenades right now. And the mimic grenades, they just, uh, they don't seem to be working at all. They work really good in XCOM 2, but they just, they don't work in, in this game. Maybe I'm just using them wrong, but I'm just going to pass on them and just use like regular grenades from now on. So, uh, let's go to mission control and... Oh, actually, I have some medals I have to give out. I always forget about these. So, Star of Terra. Assign power. Entire squad receives plus five will and plus five defense. Okay, all soldiers in the squad at lieutenant rank or lower gain. Okay, so I don't need that. Everyone in my squad is pretty much colonels. So, let's just go ahead and do this here and I'm gonna award the medal to my sniper because I always bring my sniper on the missions where is she at okay there she is she's at the top here I always bring my sniper on the missions because she's my only good sniper and I bring her as long as she's not injured I, I always bring her this late in the game, you kind of always need a, a good sniper just to uh, kind of scout with. And then the defender's medals. Um, med kits and restorative mist heal two more health when used on this soldier. I'm going to give these to... I, I already gave one to uh, my... Oh, where's she at? 
Sandra Tucker who's injured. I, I already gave one to her. So I'm going to give the other two to my other main assault classes because they seem to get injured much more than than my other classes. Alright, let's uh, give the other one to Carl. So that's that. Uh, now we're just going to go scan, and there should only be a few more missions left in the game. So I think I can finish up this game today. I, I tried to finish it up yesterday, but I just ran out of time. So let's uh, go ahead and see if we can finish it up for you guys. Commander, you should take a look at this. We've just detected a massive new contact. We're picking up an enormous power signature. Whatever it is, it must be fully loaded. We should expect heavy resistance. Alright guys, uh, I'm not sure if this is like a mission objective. I think it might... Uh, I think this is a story mission here. Um, it says a very large size and it's a battleship. So I'm going to have to bring my A squad on this one. And let's see if we can actually shoot it down first. I'm not quite sure if I can. I don't have any more of those like dodge matrix matrixes and uh, aiming things because you can get like we have eyes on the bench. for your ships, but I'm all out of them right now. Oh my god, that thing is massive! Look at it compared to my ship. We're getting eaten up here. Oh my god, I got it just in time. Okay, uh, so species detected. It's all things we've seen before, uh, sectoid commanders, seekers, mectoids. I'm glad there's seekers there because I need more seeker corpses so I can make more ghost grenades. If I could, I'd put ghost grenades on all of my soldiers, but I think it's probably best if you can put multiple ghost grenades on one soldier, I'd rather give them to my... I'd, I'd rather give them to my supports because they can use consumables in extra time. So let's go ahead and send the Sky Ranger and let's see what I got here. I, I'm missing one of my main assaults, so I'm not gonna bring her. I, I just uh, I wish I would have gotten lightning reflexes with her earlier in the game. I was trying something new and it just didn't work out. So. We're going to replace her with, just because Sandra is injured, we're going to replace that spot with Doomsday. I haven't really been using my heavies much, but um, they're really good for just filling in spots where you don't really know what to bring to a fight. And uh, they can do quite a, quite a lot of damage. So let's, uh, let's put him in the... Oh man, I almost want to put him in the Archangel armor. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. And then, uh, Heavy Plasma. Because I could post him up, up high and he can fire twice in a turn. Alright, and give him a scope and then just regular frag grenades because he gets extra damage with them. Or, I don't know, maybe... Actually, I'm gonna give him the Needle grenades. All right, so he's good. Okay, and I'm going to take the uh, ghost armor off of these guys. Just give them the titan armor. Or, you know what, maybe I'll... Well, yeah, I better do the titan armor. We don't want him dying in, like, one hit. I might be able to find a, a good mission to use the ghost armor, but it's just the Titan armor gives that extra four health, and that can that can be the difference between living and dying when it comes to uh oh man, they still have those mimic beacons. Those things suck. Is there anything else I can give them other than grenades? Let me go see what, what else I can buy in engineering, because grenades are kind of getting um, 
they're kind of falling by the wayside because I've got three assaults and they're always right up in the enemy's faces so they really don't need to destroy cover and the grenades only do three damage. So let me just see if, uh, I don't know, the combat stims maybe. Huh. Let's see. I don't know, maybe I should do the nanofiber vest. Not quite sure what to do. I wonder what this does. I kind of want to get those combat stims. Let's, uh... Huh. Let's, uh, let's go sell some stuff. Okay, um... I'm gonna sell a whole bunch of those exalt weapons. And I'm not sure if I could sell these artifacts and technology. I'm not sure what they're for. So I might as well just keep them for now. So I need about a hundred bucks. I think I can get it here. Nope. I'll, I'll keep six of those. Just because I'm not quite sure what they're for. Uh, Mectoid core. That should be enough money. Okay. Um, Alright, let's go to engineering. Go to buy items. I've never used the combat stim, so I'm going to get three of them for my three assaults. And I'm only using two assaults right now, but I usually use three of them. Okay, so let's, uh, let's remove this. I mean, I, I wonder how much damage they're going to do with those stims on them. Hold on. The will reduces incoming damage by 50%. Increases mobility. Okay. Okay, and then I've got the two med kits here. I need something on her. Um, I'll just put the stims on her as well. She could benefit from them. Okay, I think we're good to go now. And the only grenade we have is right here on him. Although, honestly, I do like the ability to, like, reach into a room. So, I'm... That was a problem in the last mission. I couldn't... I couldn't destroy a wall to get into the room where the ethereal was, so... I had to like go all the way around through a bunch of enemies, so let's uh let's make sure we always have at least one grenade. Just in case. Alright, let's launch this one. Dropship has arrived. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. Yeah, using explosives the as hard a in a remote area just outside of a small cool. town. We should deploy and eliminate any hostiles at the crash site. Like if you know uh, some enemies are inside of a building, but you can't quite see them yet, you could just blow. You could just stack up on the wall and then blow the wall open and then just uh, run in if there's no doors or windows close by. bigger than anything we've seen so far. Considering the impact, the ship seems to be in relatively good shape. We don't know what to expect in there, but you should make your way to the craft's bridge as quickly as possible. 
All right, guys, let's uh, start this off. So the guys said that this is a very hard mission, and it said that the enemy is going to be throwing everything they have at us. So it's probably going to be a really long video. Oh my god, there's already enemies. Okay, that guy's on Overwatch, so I'm gonna run this guy in here. Let's just uh, go ahead and run him down. The speed of death. Yes, sir. using my scout to to kind of scout a lot in this mission in I kill. took the Archangel armor off of her mainly because um, she has the on ability the to go into stealth as long as she is going from cover to cover and so that's really good for scouting but she can't use that if she's in the Archangel armor because you know clearly you can't behind you can't hide behind cover up in the air. So I decided to give the Archangel armor to my heavy because he, he has to stay in place to be able to use his rockets and to fire twice in one turn. So I thought the uh, Archangel armor would be, would be better for him. some enemies down there. It looks like four Seekers. That's actually really good because just with those four Seekers I'll be able to make another uh, another grenade. Another ghost grenade. Which are, those are The ghost grenades I think are probably the best I single item in the game and you know what I think it's the second best item that you can equip in your utility slots I'd have to say it's the scope and Roger that might that. sound dumb because you can get the scope pretty much uh, almost uh, right at the beginning of the game for the most part but so go ahead and shoot that but it is really good because having having that extra aim at all times is really really good. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Я пошла. On the move. And I'm, I'm not going to put my heavy into flight mode right now because, I mean, just look at this. This is already almost at the maximum height, so if I put him in the flight mode, yeah, he could he could fly up above here and there, but, I mean, back here, he's only going to be one level higher than the actual ground is. So I think he's fine, just, uh, just hoofing it for now. Let's 
пошла. Есть. Продолжим. Let's go ahead and just reload everyone, just to be safe. Not quite sure what enemies Back we're going to be fighting here. Reloading. And what's nice is as long as you're going from cover to cover, your uh, your 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 uh, stealthing scout with the Genek mod is always going to stay stealth. So I can sprint her up here, and she's gonna stay in stealth even if there's enemies up here. So let's just run all the way up there. I wasn't using her for scouting until the last couple of missions. It was kind of weird learning how her stealth works because sometimes it would she would break stealth randomly. And sometimes uh, she would stay in stealth and I kinda had to learn the mechanics of it. And also there's the fact that Ghost grenades do not work on her, and neither do uh, the uh, ghost suits, the ghost armor. So that uh, that screwed me over quite a few times because I didn't know that, and I, I use ghost grenades quite often. If I'm in a sticky situation with my squad, I'll fire with everyone and then, you know, keep them all close together, fire with everyone except the support, and then throw a ghost grenade and wait for the next turn. And you can just uh, rinse and repeat doing that as long as you have enough ghost grenades. Alright, so from here... We're going to go all the way up here. Should be able to see everything from here. Oh wow, there's nothing. Alright, dash up there, I guess. Keep, there's confirmed. nothing up here. What, what's the point of this, this room? There's Solid literally nothing in this uh, second room here. I mean, they said I was going to meet heavy resistance, and we're we're getting close to the the end. I mean, it just goes through that room and then right there, and that's the end. Alright, um, I guess we'll stack up over here. And let's send our sniper to the opposite side. Because um, if I put the sniper on the opposite door, I can open the door with the sniper and kind of peek out and get a get a feel for what's in the room before I open the the door where my main squad is. Location confirmed. I might want to go into flight mode, I'll have to, I'll have to uh, see what the situation is. Gonna heal him. 
So that's that's weird. It doesn't give you the it doesn't give you the option to of who you want to heal. Oh wait, he's not damaged. That's why. I thought he was the the one that was damaged. I'm there on the move. Go. That yeah, works. Yeah, I can heal for a lot more, but if he was if he took a big hit, he'd probably die right there. So I'm, I'm just kind of playing it safe since we are almost to the end. On Overwatch. Overwatch. I am Overwatch. Yeah, this is gonna turn out to be one of the easiest missions I've done so far. Open it. I don't see anything yet. They don't have egg. No, oh, it's just more doors. Yeah, be kidding me. I did all that. All that. Preparing for this uh, yeah, just to find more doors. Moving out. Moving to designated position. Double time. Uh -huh, me muevo. I swear, this is like the longest mission, just uh, just because I'm running so far. I mean, just getting across these rooms takes uh, two turns just to get from door to door. Oh, wow. Look what we got here. Oh, man. I'm kind of on the... The wrong side here. Wish you could close doors. That's affirmative. Moving to position. I'm on it, Commander. Oh man, I didn't mean to go into Overwatch with my sniper. Come get some. He might be getting killed here. Serve my ghost grenades here. I, I don't even know how you would do this without ghost grenades, to be honest. Aye, aye.
boy. Oh, they're gonna get hit. Kill the sectoid. Kind of pick off all the uh, the little guys here. If we can. That's affirmative. ghost grenade and then they shouldn't be able to shoot me here and then when I appear next turn they're probably gonna all start walking towards me I mean there's no way I can uh, all my soldiers would die this turn if I didn't have ghost grenades I would have had to retreat way back here and try and pick off the enemies one by one but instead I can use these ghost grenades and they're gonna start coming over here to kind of search for me because the AI cheats in this game and they know exactly where you are even if they don't know where you are. So they're going to start coming over here and I could just shoot at them every turn and then ghost grenade, shoot them, ghost grenade. I've got four ghost grenades right now. So let's uh, go ahead and use one. And I should be able to kill one of those robots at least per turn. So I think it's going to be about three turns until I can take them all out. And right now, I'm just gonna move right no, here no, and go into stealth. Should be able to go to stealth right in this corner. Oh, this guy's coming for me. He's going for my sniper. See, they, they know that that's dumb. They they know exactly where you are, even if they don't. Even if they don't see where you went to stealth at, they still know. quite kill that thing this turn so I'm just gonna pick off one of those because my critical chance was only five percent so I would have only, only done about three damage two or three damage so let's uh let's 
go on the ghost mode again. Actually, gonna run my sniper all the way. Oh, there's no cover up here. cover anywhere here. We'll just have her hunt. Sometimes it works to your advantage, sometimes it doesn't. But right here, that guy is right on top of me, so if I destroy him right there, it's going to damage all five of my soldiers. So I'm actually going to have to... Uh, gonna have to run all my soldiers uh, slightly away to uh, get out of the line of get out of the explosion radius there. Okay, so over here can't you can't fire on my soldiers if they're over here I don't think so that's kind of an idea good to go See if we can kill this one. Alright, let's go into 
ghost mode. Now my other guy's probably gonna get shot at, and unfortunately his cover just got blown up. I don't know what to do with her. Let's go right there. He knows right where I want to. Oh, he's coming back to join the party. I'm hoping that guy can take a two hits from Oh, nice, a miss. Kill him. Shouldn't have left that slip. Then my sniper, I think. Oh, wait, hold on. Did I kill that last uh, little drone thing? I think I did. So let's uh, let's just start healing everyone. I wonder where the uh, other enemies are. So we're pretty much at the end. have to stack up on this door here. Ubicación confirmada. Double time. 
I'd have to say that was Target the confirmed. single Our toughest way. battle I've had in this entire game so far. Location confirmed. It's just uh, if I did it even one thing incorrectly, I would have had uh, I would have had a soldier die. What's behind this door? Don't tell me it's another door. Will do. Okay. Affirmative. Let's actually put him up. Going in for him. everyone up at this door. Yes, выполняю. Stepping off. All in air. don't want him to peek over there because there might be some enemies, so let's just put him right here. Cutting ignition. Yes, though. objectives completed all right so that was kind of a long mission just because the level was really 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 long like the actual like map was really long and there wasn't that many enemies on the map like I, I came across you know a bunch of rooms that took about two or three turns just to dash across them and there was no enemies in them, so I thought that was kind of weird. They're a level that big, I, I thought there'd be at least 30 to 40 enemies there. 
but we got it done. That was a really tough battle with the four uh, sectopods at the same time. We have one wounded soldier just for three days. We've got a whole bunch of alloys, some other some other junk. Got my seeker wreck so I can get my other ghost grenade. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end the mission right here, or end the video right here, I should say. Um, when we come back, I'm I'm thinking about sending some more people to the uh genetics lab maybe two more because i think i only have four soldiers that are genetically modified um and i kind of want all six of my soldiers to be modified so uh yeah thanks for watching make sure you subscribe to my channel uh like this video if you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more i should be finishing up this playthrough sometime today so all right guys i'll catch you in the next video